I'm Sarah Cook and I'm joined here by Martin Cross. We're the World Rowing Commentators and thank you for joining us for Crossy Gets Cooked. Now we had a great day of racing today and a little bit of controversy in the afternoon, but we'll start with this morning's highlights. Martin, what stood out for you? Oh, I think that's right and fair. The eights racing was incredible. Why don't I talk about the women's eights, you talk about the men's eights. The women's eights was sensational. In terms of the Americans, Tom Tahar's crew back on form. They were fourth in the world last year. This year they killed everyone in their heat. They were under world record pace until the very last quarter, amazing. And then really the second heat, the Australians, you would never have picked the Australian women to be out in front. Sorry about that, Sarah. But they look fantastic, so fluid, so cool. And you know, the Romanian world champions were back in their wake. Those two straight through at the final, that really set up the day for me. What about you? Yeah, look, it really was uh, a similar situation in the men's eights. It was all about uh, the Australians and the Americans really were the talk of the town for it's both. Camera, <laughs> it really was the talk of the town for both. Uh, the American men's eight, I mean, unbelievable outside world record time by one second. So Mike Tate is clearly back with the magic with the US men, but the Australian men pushing them all the way. I thought they were going to get there and it was right on the line. But the talk is with the Germans in the other heat, three seconds behind, that's pretty quick for a crew that didn't have the same kind of intensity in their racing. So I think all eyes are on those three, but I wouldn't discount the Italians particularly at this point in time. So it will be an incredible repercharge in that men's eight to see who makes the A final. Yeah, and earlier in the day, we had the PR1 women's singles get underway. That amazing athlete from Norway, Bridget Skarsten, she's world champion. But just like Eric Horry did yesterday on this very fast course, he broke and set a new world's best time. Bridget Skarsten came down the course and just set a new world's best time, beating her record that she set in Linz. And that was so exciting. She was literally like 150 metres ahead. It's so great to see an athlete like that row. We've had women's double repercharges that were very close, women's single repercharges to get into the quarterfinal that weren't so close. But then this afternoon we had a bit of controversy. We did. We started with the quarterfinals after the break of the lightweight men's double skulls and we saw the race winners really coming from this far side, from, from lane six, which indicated that perhaps the conditions weren't all fair on the course, uh, which World Rowing then came to the decision to postpone the racing and then to cancel the racing until tomorrow. So we should see the quarters um, of the uh, pairs and things like that tomorrow. But having said that, Sarah, standout performance in those lightweight men's double skulls quarterfinal from the Irish, kind of out there in the middle, the O'Donovans coming through to win that heat. I thought the, the Belgian double, uh, Van Svarga and Brees did very well to battle through to get a third place position. And some doubles like the Japanese, the Ukrainians, you know, the Czechs were picking up the pieces on this side. And um, that's kind of what happens in an outdoor sport. But tomorrow, We've got an exciting day of race. We don't quite know the schedule yet, but what are we looking forward to? Well, I think we'll see those events from this afternoon um, probably shifted to tomorrow. So we look forward, of course, to the men's pairs uh, quarterfinals. They're supposed to have their semis tomorrow as well. So we'll see how that plays out with the program. But some great racing. The Croatians, we yeah. gave them a shout out before. Yeah, the Croatians are there. The Romanians there. Great new Canadian pair, of course, that are, are there. And the Serbians too. They were all the heat winners. They're going in the quarters. Will they get through to the semi-finals? Really wait to see that. The women's pairs, New Zealand against Canada out there on the water, the New Zealand world champions. The Canadians push them so close in Lucerne. And then what we've got some uh, women's quads, women's lightweight doubles, men's lightweight doubles we mentioned. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the men's and the women's fours semi-finals. I think they're scheduled for tomorrow. So we have some really amazing racing, of course. I'll put my little green and gold hat on for a moment and say I'm really looking forward to seeing the world champions in the men's and the women's fours, see if they can back it up this year uh, and, and take the world yeah, championship. Uh, of course, the Australian world champions pushed all the way by a, a rejuvenated German four. Felix Drahotter in the stroke seat of that crew, looking great. The Italians, they've kind of permed their combination since the Europeans are pretty slow. The heat winners, they beat the European champions, Romanians. They're back out in front. That's great to see. And of course, pushing the Australians all the way. The fastest crew, I have to mention it, the Danish, with uh, I think it's Rasmussen, the, the big three woman in the three seat of that crew. They look like the real business and they will push the Australians all the way, won't they? I think so. And probably along with the Americans and the Chinese, we've seen some really great crews coming through in that women's four. So the event is getting tighter and tighter as we head towards Olympic qualification next year. And I think finally to wrap the day up, we've got men's and women's quads. Germans looking great in the women's quads, I think. But in the men's quads, we've had a few surprise sort of results so far. 
the Dutch were leading their heat and they got rode through by the Ukrainians, the world champion in 2014. So the Ukrainians went straight through to the final. And what that's meant is in the repechages tomorrow, you've got quads the like of Italy, the European champions. You've got Britain, who got a European silver medal last year. You've got um, the Italians, mentioned then the European champions, the Germans, fantastic quad. And all of these crews, the Dutch, who didn't make it through the the heat direct to the final. So they're looking for a final A place tomorrow. It's at the end of racing. It's going to be really, really tight and close. Why don't you join me and Sarah on worldbrain.com as we talk you through all the racing tomorrow. See you tomorrow.